It retracts. Suray Duncan T60 telescopic RGB light wind. Let's review this. I'm pretty sure guys that you're already sick and tired of light winds and there is a ton of those from different manufacturers with a variety of functions and prices. But I like compact, lightweight but high quality gear and that is why I was really interested in this Suray light. Speaking of weight and size, here it is next to my good old Yongnuo 360 Mark II and also Suray weighs only 650 grams whereas Yongnuo weighs almost 1.2 kilograms, which is substantial if you plan on taking a couple of those to every shot. So, with Suray T60 you get two operating modes, collapsed 46 cm length and extended with 74 cm. Keep in mind though that the light softness, output and even color temperature will change when you retract the light. That's a disadvantage to me, but I guess it was very hard to do flawlessly in terms of engineering. The light quality itself is very nice, I like the diffusion layer and also you do get a rather soft light with CRI and TLC ratings of 97. And also if the light is in the shot it looks soft as well, but you can see where two sections of the light cross and on certain brightnesses it might be visible. It's a 20 watt light wind, so don't expect crazy output, but it was enough for me on an actual shoot and also the RGB LEDs in this light wind are very bright and I was using those two winds to make two colored backgrounds for my product shots like this one. Here is the RGB red color on Yongnuo 360 Mark II and on Suray T60. It's more than two times brighter on the Suray. But Yongnuo is almost twice as bright in daylight mode, so you gotta choose wisely if the brightness of RGB or regular CCT is more important to you. Speaking of CCT, the color temperature range of Suray T60 is from 2500 Kelvin to 8000 Kelvin. The battery life at full blast is about 2 hours and it can be charged simultaneously, so thank god the charging port is near the handle and closer to the bottom of the light and the charging cable is about 2.5 meters long because with my Yongnuo 360 Mark II the charging port is at the top and the cable is around 1.5 meters and it was a pain to use it on longer shoots and placing it higher than 1 meter off the ground. So now let's talk about the kit and the features of this light. So this light comes in a very nice bag, I mean it's it's a great quality bag, one of the best I've seen throughout my entire YouTuber career and everything is made like top-notch, even the zippers. We even have a separate pouch and the materials are great as well. So inside of this carrying bag we have the cable, the tripod fit and the light itself. We even have some velcro straps for more compact storage, so big thumbs up for this case. The tripod fit is uh, rubberized in the bottom and overall it's a pretty sturdy and good tripod fit. The cable is also a pretty good one, enough for me. The light itself is made out of plastic, but it's a very high quality plastic, I have no complaints here as well. And here is how it retracts and collapses. So yeah, it's very easy to do because of this small ring and you can use this ring to hang the slides from somewhere else as well. Here we have the detachable remote control, it's a Bluetooth controller, a very nice one as well. It charges through the light and lasts for a very long time and it's easy to use and navigate. Here is the charging port and the power button of course, so overall the build quality and the kit is really nice. Also this light wind has a built-in microphone for disco lighting effects and about 15 customizable effects in total with very smooth RGB light transitions. Love it. Also this light comes with an app, you can group your lights or you can use each light individually like I do here. We have a ton of controls, we have hue, saturation and brightness control, we can also use the CCT mode, we can work with two lights separately as I show you right here and you can see a little spot in lower brightnesses where the two parts of the tube kind of cross. It's not the best one, but actually it looks not that bad. And here are a couple of effects. As you can see, the RGB cycle is very, very smooth. We have a ton of those like flash, disco, lighting, faulty bulb, candle, fire, police car, a ton of effects. So the app itself is really easy to use. The lights connect instantly and it's just a pleasure to use guys. It even has a very cool effect called color picker. So as you can see here, we can pick the certain color and use it as well. And finally guys, the price of this light went is $200, which is reasonable, but I wish it was a bit cheaper considering the competition. But for instance, in the kit of Yongnuo 360 Mark III, you won't find batteries, the carrying bag is really poor, trust me, no tripod fit and overall the build quality of Suray Duck and T60 seems better to me. I'm happy to keep this light in my kit. 
So what do you think, guys? Did you like the idea of a retractable light? And what RGB when do you use and why? Share all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, please smash the like and subscribe buttons as you see my videos and hit the notifications bell. Here are a couple of videos for you to watch next and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.